what is a stable coin what are best stable coins and how you can make passive income with it let's go hey welcome back to art of marketing blog a place where we talk about money, 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 money. I'm making money online working from home and cryptocurrency and this video is about stable coins so i will tell you what is a stable coin what are the best stable coins to use right now in 2021 and also in the future 2022 and 2025 how do they work how are they different from all the other cryptocurrencies i will give you all the information before we start make sure to smash the like button subscribe to the channel click on the bell and leave me a comment if you have any questions or maybe you just want to say hi check out all the links in the description of this video check out my free courses my free case studies my one dollar cars my live training check everything else out as well and right now let me share my screen let's jump into this video so first of all i found this article on coinbase what is a stable coin so definition a stable coin is a digital currency that is pegged to a stable reserve asset like the us dollar or gold stable coins are designed to reduce volatility relative to unpacked cryptocurrencies like bitcoin so you know that the price of bitcoin can go up and down literally 5 10 20 percent in a matter of days so if you want to keep your money in a more stable way uh, you can use stable coins so stable coins bridge the worlds of cryptocurrency and everyday fiat currency because their prices are pegged to a reserve asset like the us dollar or gold this dramatically reduces volatility compared to something like Bitcoin and results in a form of digital money that is better suited to everything from day-to-day -day commerce to making transfers between exchanges. The combination of traditional asset stability with digital asset flexibility has proven to be a widely popular idea. Billions of dollars in value have flowed into stable coins like USDC and USDT and others and they've become some of the most popular ways to store and trade value in the crypto ecosystem. So why are they important? So, so stable coins are backed by dollar denominated assets of at least equal fair value to the stable coins in circulation. Many stable coins are operating on the Ethereum blockchain. Stable coins are open, global and accessible to anyone on the internet. 24 seven, they are fast, cheap and secure to transmit. They are digital native to the internet and programmable. So what can you do with stable coins? First of all, minimize volatility, then trade or save assets, earn interest. We'll talk about that in just a second. Uh, transfer money cheaply and send internationally. So that's an article from coinbase.com. I also wanted to show you this article from Investopedia. They say understanding stable coins. So again, they say that the price of Bitcoin can go from $4,000 to $65,000. So even if you want to use it as a store of value, the price will be going up and down. It literally grew from 4,000 to 65,000 in a year and a couple of months, I believe. So uh, in the long term, you can definitely use Bitcoin or Ethereum to store value. But in the short term, if you're afraid of volatility, then uh, using stable coins is something that you can definitely look into. And just to note, there will be some more regulations when it comes to stable coins. This is not a video about regulations but uh, just for you to know there is some more regulation coming so with that being said let me tell you what are the best stable coins right now I'm going to go from the biggest ones to the smaller ones okay so the biggest stable coin in the world right now is tether or USDT it is currently the fourth biggest cryptocurrency in the world and again its price is always a dollar it can fluctuate by a fraction of a cent but in a nutshell it will always be around a dollar so let me actually give you a more information of tether so what is tether or usdt tether is a blockchain based cryptocurrency whose tokens in circulation are backed by an equivalent amount of us dollars making it a stable coin with a price pegged to usd at one dollar stable coins track traditional fiat currencies like the dollar or euro or japanese yen which are held in a designated bank account so one thing about tether that you need to know is that they actually had a big court case against them because they didn't have enough real money real dollars to support uh, tether usdt which 
can create big problems. That is why I personally don't use Tether. I use all the other stable coins that I'm about to share with you in this video. This is just something to keep in mind. It's probably fine. You can probably use Tether without any issues, but if they will run into some problems, it will mean big problems, not just for Tether, but for the whole cryptocurrency market. Okay, so just something to keep in mind while using USDT. Another stable coin is USD coin or USDC. This is a stable coin uh, from Coinbase.com. So this is the 10th biggest cryptocurrency right now in the world. Again, the price is at a dollar and Coinbase.com explains what is USD coin. So USD coin is a type of cryptocurrency that is referred to as a stable coin. You can always redeem one USD coin for one dollar giving it a stable price. On Coinbase, eligible customers can earn rewards for every USD coin they hold. Again, more about that in just a second. So we have the stable value. It is backed by fully reserved assets. It is powered by Ethereum and you have global transactions. So that's USDC. Next up, we have Binance USD or BUSD. So this is the native stable coin from Binance. Again, the price is at a dollar. And this article from Academy that Binance.com explains what it is. It works in a pretty similar way, but it is simply backed by Binance. So BUSD is a regulated fiat backed stablecoin pegged to the US dollar. For every unit of a BUSD, there is one dollar held in reserve. In other words, the supply of BUSD is pegged to the US dollar at a one to one ratio. Holders can swap their tokens for fiat and vice versa. Paxos, the project's owner, releases monthly audits of BUSD results. As a stablecoin, BUSD is designed to maintain a stable market value. It allows investors and traders to hold low volatility assets on the blockchain without the need to exit the crypto space. So this is uh, the stablecoin that I actually use the most because I use Binance for most of my trading. Obviously, Binance is a big company, so it will be hard for them to run into problems. So that's why I think this is a very, very safe bet when it comes to uh, stable coins. Next up, we have DAI. This is the 36th biggest cryptocurrency in the world. As you can see, the price is fluctuating at around the dollar. So at the moment of recording of this video, it is 0.9994 dollars. So again, it goes up and down. But DAI is actually a cryptocurrency stable coin that is uh, decentralized. Okay, so uh, all the ones that I showed you are centralized because, for example, BUSD is from Binance, uh, USDC is from Coinbase, etc. With DAI, uh, it is a decentralized stablecoin and on MakerDAO.com you can get more information. So it says a better, smarter currency. DAI can be used by anyone, anywhere, anytime. It is the world's first unbiased currency. DAI is stable, decentralized currency that does not discriminate. Any individual or business can realize the advantages of digital money money. So again, one DAI token is one dollar. You have the financial freedom with no volatility, decentralized governance. So a community of maker token holders govern the maker protocol, the smart contracts that power DAI, and we have a growing ecosystem. So, so when it comes to DAI, the biggest difference is that it is decentralized. So if this is something that you value highly, then definitely uh, use DAI. Next up, we have true USD or TUSD. Again, as you can see, the price is at around a dollar, 0 0.9999. As of the moment of recording this video, the 97th biggest cryptocurrency right now. And uh, TrueUSD.com is the website. So as you can see, it says money built for the new global financial system, the first regulated stablecoin fully backed by the US dollar, access the highest trading volume and liquidity on exchanges of any trusted stablecoin. You can mint it, you can hold it, you can trade it, and you can vault it, which means that you can stake it, farm it, mine it, uh, get some passive income on your uh, true USD or TUSD. Again, more about that in just a second. Next up, we have the PEX dollar. This is the 116th biggest cryptocurrency. It is $1 and it is created by Paxos. So you can go to paxos.com slash USDP 
this is the PEX dollar, the world's leading regulated stable coin. So the advantages is that again, it is redeemable one to one. So one dollar for one token, it is regulated. So USDP is subject to strict regulatory oversight by the New York State Department of Financial Services, meeting the highest standards of consumer protection. So if you are pro regulation and if you are afraid that you're going to lose your money or uh, you know things like this, then Paxos is definitely the stable coin that you should be using. And they have 100% cash reserves. So USDP reserves are held in a cash and cash equivalents, meaning that customers' funds are always kept safe and are available for redemption. So this is the big problem with Tether. They don't actually have a lot of reserves. I believe they have less than 10% of reserves to actually back up US Tether. They have 100% reserves with Paxos. So definitely an upside. And talking about Paxos, we also have Pax Gold or Pax G, and this is a stable coin that is pegged to the price of gold, one ounce of gold instead of a dollar. So you can actually get exposition to the gold market without having to buy physical gold. Uh, so very, very interesting as well, because gold, as we know, on average appreciates 5% uh, on average per year. So uh, you can actually make some money using a stable coin. So a uh, Pax Gold, as you can see, the current price is $1,828. Again, this is the price of a one ounce of gold. Pax G is a commodity backed gold stablecoin issued by Paxos. Each token is backed by one fine troy ounce of gold kept in the Brinks vaults managed by Paxos. Pax G allows for exposure to gold markets without using an ETF, futures contract, or other derivative products. Or buying physical gold it was first created in september 2019 and the supply is 31,400 of pax g tokens so i will definitely be using pax g after this bull run is over as a store of value again when it comes to the dollar uh, because of all the printing of the money it will probably lose value with pax gold the price can actually go up because uh gold goes up in value so right, these are my best stable coins for you and before you go let me actually tell you how you can stake your stable coins and make some passive income on it so if you're going to go to stakingrewards.com slash stable coins you will get all the information on how much rewards you can get simply for staking your stable coins what is staking it is simply locking in your stable coins into a smart contract for a period of time and uh, earning a percentage on it so for example binance usd you can get a seven percent reward uh, Dai, we can get 13 percent we have usd coin 13 percent we have all the other ones but we have tether 14 percent through usd six percent so if you want to make some passive income on your stable coins you can and actually i found this article 12 best places to stake stable coins so the number one according to this article is binance so i actually use staking on binance and as you can see on binance you can actually stake not only busd but a number of different cryptocurrencies and a number of different stable coins so uh, you can stake it for seven days, 14 days, 30 days, 90 days. Obviously, uh, the longer you are locking in your stable coins for, the more uh, percentage you're going to get back. So this is number one. We also have KuCoin. We also have Polonex. We have Next. Oh, we have Celsius. We have BlockFi. We have uh, CoinLoan. We have Compound, Aave, DXDY, Fulcrum. And you can also stake your cryptocurrency stable coins on Ledger Nano. So Nano X or Nano. Uh, this was actually a surprise to me. I didn't know. I do own a few Ledger Nano Xs and uh, I will definitely be staking some stable coins uh, using the Ledger Nano. And the last thing I wanted to show you is right here on Binance. If you want to access uh, staking, all you have to do is go to finance right here on top, then go to Binance Earn and you're going to get all the pairs right here. So as you can see, you can stake a bunch of different cryptocurrencies. AXS, for example, will pay you 115% if you're going to lock it for 30 days. So some pretty crazy returns. But even for stable coins, we have USDT 9%. We have BUSD 5.5%. You can expand it and get all these other pairs. Uh, obviously, we have Ethereum DOT, we have uh, Bitcoin, we have uh, BNB, but if you want to stake, for example, uh, Tether for 60 days, you're going to get a 9% return. I mean, no bank will give you any 
anything close to these kind of returns. So guys, I hope I explained to you what is a stable coin. I hope I gave you my best stable coins for 2021, 2022, 2025, and for the future years as well. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button, subscribe to this channel, click on the bell and leave me a comment. Check out all the links in the description of this video. If you have any questions, you can always leave me a comment. Check out all the rest of the videos on this channel and I'll be seeing you in the next one. Ciao.